Our next presenter, Uhuru Pais, is a hugely popular Oakland-based organization that aims to construct a positive future for the Black community, one pie at a time. Welcome, Bakari. Uhuru. Uhuru means freedom in the African language of Swahili. Uhuru Foods and Pies has become a holiday tradition in the Bay Area for several decades. I'm sure some of you have eaten our pies. Our signature sweet potato pie recipe comes directly from the African community. We haven't changed that recipe in 27 years, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. As a free and independent people who were enslaved and colonized, we brought food technology with us from Africa. Food is a great connector in reachieving self-determination. Next slide. I am Bakari Olatunji, Vice Chair of Uhuru Pies, Uhuru Foods and Pies, and manager of our weekly farmer's market and food booth. You may have sampled our mini chocolate pecan pie in the smorgas box. I want to hear from you uh, in the breakout room uh, about that. I am not an owner. I am definitely not a baker. Um, I, was, I help with the baking and appreciate our dedicated staff and volunteers who bake delicious pies. I am an organizer. I grew up in Oakland, attending junior high school during the Black Power Movement of the 60s. I was influenced at a young age to understand that self-determination of African people is needed. Today, in 2021, the average white family has 22 times the assets of Black families. For me, this is unacceptable. We must build our own capacity to be a self-sustaining people. That's what Uhuru Pies is about. Next slide. Uhuru Pies has made leaps in developing our self-sustaining economic model through years, uh, through year-round markets, uh, pop-ups, partnerships and collaborations, and of course, our holiday pie sales. In 1987, Uhuru Bakery and Cafe was located on 40th and Telegraph in North Oakland and was very popular. Now we are building in North St. Louis too. Next slide. We have taken a step towards a qualitative leap forward. We bought an iconic 5,000 square foot building in North St. Louis. It also has a beautiful 13 square, 13,000 square foot area that we're going to build into an outdoor garden and event space. We call it Uhuru Jiko. Jiko means kitchen or cooking place in Swahili. High costs associated with gentrification here in the Bay Area has been a constant obstacle in securing a bakery. The bakery we couldn't get in Oakland, we got in St. Louis. World-renowned bakery designer, Michael Suez, who designed all of Panera systems and will be working with us with our systems when it gets built and a St. Louis local black architect are designing our plans. Our African uh, Independence Workforce Program would train women and men recently released from incarceration uh, to teach them culinary and business skills. We actually have apartments where they can live during the program. We raised over $80,000 to purchase the building and pay for the plans. This is only one part of the Black Power Blueprint. Overall, we raised more than a million and a half million dollars, mostly from small donations, our pie sales and other fundraisers. And I just wanna say those donations, when I say small donations, some have been as small as $5 and some has been as much as thousands of dollars from individuals. Now we need a chunk of money. We're looking for $200,000 in gifts, grants, promotions, networking, direct donations and sales. We have lots more to say about this and we can talk about that in the breakout room. Next slide. Finally, we wanna show you the Oakland Uhuru Pies team that baked a thousand sweet potato pies for Christmas with the Currys. In December, Stephen Curry and his family gave food and gifts to a thousand families in Oakland. We plan to produce a thousand more pies in most days in St. Louis. Uhuru. Thank you, Bakri. This is such an inspiring vision and presentation. Thank you.